let me uh, answer that question by asking y'all a question. Is this her or is this not college football? No answer? It is, okay, all right. Are you guys having fun in college football? All right, it's been a great week, okay, because college football is around. We have the opportunity to go out here and play at our best once again. So when you have that opportunity, you got to take full advantage of it. At times, there are those who don't have that opportunity. So, again, it can be taken away at any moment. So that, to us, is the most exciting part about this week is why it's, by, why it's been a great week. The depth has looked great. Um, you know, we expect whoever's in the game to go out there and perform at the same at the highest level that they're poss possible. Okay, coach always talks about first be your best, then you'll be first. Okay, so there ain't no depth chart issues. I mean, it's be your best, and when you're out there and you're at your best, I know what your best is, what your best is, and what you're capable of, and they know. So we expect them to be at their best. That message you just gave us uh, is that what you, you're giving your players to this week? In regards to? Well, just how you started this about being college football and being excited about it. Is that what you're telling the players? Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, um, you get to play in a great environment um, up in Knoxville and uh, against a great opponent. Um, so where else would you want to be? I just – I don't understand people that – don't, don't want to play great opponents every single week. I mean, that's what this is all about. That's what gets your heart rate up. That's, what, uh, that's, what, that's where you're most alive when you play against great opponents each and every week, and we have a great one this week. So um, this, is what, this is what you come to Alabama for. Um, you don't come to Alabama to play some of the teams that are not ranked high. I mean, you come to, to, to play against in these great games, and – put your ability on display against another great team with great ability as well. So um, this is what it's all about. Um, so I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Have you noticed teams maybe try and persuade towards or cover extra on Ryan or put extra attention on him? And how have you guys kind of uh, maybe adapted to that? No, I haven't noticed that uh, to this point. Um, uh, it's just – been status quo on what we've seen on film. That's what we've, we've traditionally gotten. So it's about us just executing our plays one play at a time. Um, we have ways to move them around and things of that nature to try to eliminate some of those things and whatnot if, if that were to be the case. But at this point, no, I haven't seen that, um, nor would I expect to see that. Just because you know, true freshman, he can't be that smart. I mean, he can't he can't know everything. So um, at, at some point, you hit a wall as a as a freshman, and and uh, you know some of that production tends to go down. So I would I would I would I wouldn't double him. Do you think he's approaching that wall? That's not for me to answer. I don't know. I'm just saying uh, he's he right now is is playing at a great at a high level. He graded out one of his highest games actually this past game. Um, in our room, so obviously that takes in, in consideration just his effort, uh, obviously knowing what he's supposed to do and, uh, and, and his technique and how, how he's technical and what he's doing. So he graded out to one of the highest levels uh, this past week. Uh, he's very upset with me because it wasn't higher, but he knows the reasons why it wasn't higher. So that's, that's what's even more important. They understand how they can grade higher each and every week. Uh, you know, we, it's it's crazy. You guys are saying we have all this depth. I mean, I mean, you start this conversation off about how we don't have uh, certain players, and now we got all this depth. I mean, we we just got guys who want to go out there and and put on display what they're capable of. Um, that's all we have. Uh, they're hungry to go out there and showcase that they are capable of being the guy, and everybody wants to be the guy on every single play. Um, they know and understand the progressions and how it's read. And they're wanting the quarterback to bypass the progression and throw it to them because they are the guy. So I just I just think these guys are just trying their best to be the best player that they can, and, and, and they're doing a good job of it. What's your message to the, to the room uh, when there are misses in the vertical passing game, as there were on Saturday, as, as far as like keep, keep, keep it up, running around, just doing their job? Every person on this football team has a job that they need to do, and you just do your job. Um, that is their, the message. Um, I, I paint a pretty 
um, I would say, sorrowful story for them at times where, you know, you have a coaching staff that's in the office and they are busting their butt to figure out the best plays to run, figuring out the blitzes, the coverages, and so on and so forth. And then we go out and practice on Tuesday, and we give you the right look. We got all guys, all these guys working the scout team, and then, and then the running back coach is telling the guy to pick up the pressure here, and I'm telling you the route depth. The quarterback's getting into his drop correctly. The old line is picking up any pressure, and then we come back, we tweak it again on on Tuesday night, and then Wednesday we got to do it again. Okay, all right, and we do it all over again on Thursday, and we pick it up perfectly on thir- on Thursday again. Then all of a sudden, we finally get to Saturday, and Saturday, we there it is. There's the pressure. There's the look. There's the coverage. And right at that moment, you know, Coach Sheridan calls the play. And the play is, oh, man, the back picks up the pressure just like we saw it on film. The whole line gets into – everybody's doing their job. Quarterback's right in his drop. The ball goes in the air. Hey, you're wide open. Ball hits you in the chest, and then it hits the ground. Everybody has to do their job. Me, quarterback, the running back, the whole line, everybody has to do their job all the time. Be your best when your best is needed. And when is your best needed? All the time. Yes, sir. Uh, so you mentioned for Ryan, he, you know, he, his grade was high, but there were things that could have made it even higher. What are some of the coaching points for him right now? Uh, certainly, uh, you know, there's a few opportunities where uh, he's got to make sure he knows his assignment. So he had one assignment error in the game. Um, so when you have an assignment error, missed assignment, that's automatic. That's a big deduction. Um, and then, uh, but honestly, over the course of this year so far, I think he's had two missed assignments over the course of the year. And I mean, and and to be quite honest about it, it, it weren't they weren't assignments that were actually going to negatively affect the play. So, um, but beyond that. Um, just making sure that he's getting in and out of his breaks efficiently, making sure that he's hustling on the backside of plays. Um, uh, I talk a lot about ball me man. At the end of the play, I want to make sure um, there's the ball carrier, there's me, and then there's the man I'm blocking. So I want to be ball me man frequently throughout throughout every single play. But, you know, we're working on small detail things just to help him get out of his breaks so he can be flatter on some breaks and so on and so forth. What are you looking from Tennessee's second? You know, uh, you know, had uh, some games where we played against the corner at a previous place that I was at, uh, one of the corners, and then I, I see that they are very physical at the line of scrimmage, especially their corners. Okay, um, I see that their safeties are guys that will come downhill and they'll hit you. Um, I see that they do a variety of things in their coverage. Okay, they're gonna roll and play cover two to the field and cloud the field and so on and so forth. Uh, they're gonna play some uh, th- three boundary where they're gonna bring the safety down into the boundary and so on and so forth. So these guys do a lot of different things, and we just got to be prepared to be able to recognize what they're doing at a very high level. I mean, the crowd noise to me is the same thing as if it was raining or thunderstorming out there. Okay, shit has zero effect on you. Um, the defense has to adjust to the crowd noise, just like we have to adjust to the crowd noise. So um, we got to do our job the way that we're supposed to do it, regardless of the environment. The environment should not affect us as an offense. And if it does, then we're not clearly focused on doing our job. Just to follow up on that, there was a penalty last week with Jeremy being called for being covered up. Is that fair to pin that on him, or is that more of a community? Uh, that, 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 that's completely on me. Um, I got to do a better job of just communicating to those guys um, where I want them to be at on, on any particular play um, and making sure that we, we are aligned exactly how, how we want them aligned. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.